Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sim Zima, if you're new here, and today we're playing Cole's World. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're gonna get right into the episode. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Uh, like I said in the intro, I'm Sim Zima, if you're brand new here. On my channel, we just play The Sims. We enjoy playing The Sims, making stories. We're pretty new at this, so if you're here, thank you for stopping by. Um, so I made plans to start recording today, but um, in Sims time, it would have been tomorrow so I, I plan on starting recording the lp the episode today um on friday they were going to start their day on friday and we got some really bad news just a while ago let me pause her um guys mavis has passed away that is kamaya's mom um pretty much like the twins like god mom slash grandmother um, Xavier's really good friend. If you guys don't know the story, um, Mavis and Xavier met in San Myshuno when Xavier lived out there with his twins by himself. And like I told you, Kamaya is Mavis's daughter. So Kamaya had come back home to live uh, with her mom for a little bit. And uh, yeah, they kind of, Xavier and Kamaya hit it off. So in a way xavier kind of feels like he has mavis to thank you know for introducing him to his wife but it's really sad um i know you guys see that kamaya is angry right now but it's because xavier has cheated on well some people might not call it cheating but xavier was flirting with Kamaya's sister-in-law. So let me show y'all her. This is her, Melinda. Melinda is Kamaya's sister-in-law, married to Brandon Kemp, which is Kamaya's older brother. So they went over their house and Xavier disappoints me again, y'all. He's flirting with Melinda right in front of Kamaya. So there's a lot of things going on with her right now, as you guys can see. She has bad allergies. She's still upset, very, very, very upset with Xavier and her mother just passed. So that's where we are. <laughs> Welcome to the LP. That's crazy. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but like in a, in my other video, I had said every time I try to start like a generation, something crazy happens. I come back to this one and what happens? Mavis dies and the reason why that actually matters is because tomorrow we were planning that's why I was gonna start filming tomorrow we're gonna take a family vacation and obviously Mavis was gonna be there so it sucks I don't even know if they're gonna want to go anymore um, on vacation it's just crazy so Kamaya's so angry, she don't know what to do with herself. I'm wondering if like confronting Xavier will make her feel any better. She really didn't want to dampen the mood because they are going on vacation. So where is everybody trying to get? Oh, they're trying to get. But yeah, she was worried that she would dampen the mood by bringing it up to Xavier before the vacation. So she was going to thug it out. She was just going to wait until they got back home, until the kids were back in school. And then they could probably talk it out and see, you know, where things would go. But I think with this news, she's really not going to wait. Let's see what this says. Xavier, your reputation is everything in the business world. We're gonna decline the job offer, no thank you. Xavier, come see your wife. She is beckoned, come see her. Stop right there. Oh, you putting on your clothes from tomorrow. Y'all, he supposed to wear that tomorrow, but I guess he's too excited about the trip. I don't know, does he even have any like moodlets from Mary and Mavis? Yeah, everyone should have some kind of moodlet because everyone knew Mavis, yeah, even the kids. Everyone knew Mavis. I don't know if Kalia, let me see. Yeah, Kalia knew Mavis too, so it's a sad time in the Cole's house. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to still go on vacation. I had big plans. It's going to be a big family summer vacation. 
But of course, The Sims had other plans. So I'm just gonna have Kamaya go ahead and talk to her husband. I'm gonna have them go ahead and sit down actually because I uh, I really need Xavier to hear Kamaya. The thing, I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm torn about this whole thing. Y'all see how mad she is, right? She's not gonna be able to hold her feelings and realistically, she's gonna have to get this off her chest. So they're both gonna sit down and Kamaya's gonna lay it on him. Kamaya's just gonna be like, hey, um, she don't even wanna go into talking about her mom passing away. She wanna go straight into, hey, what's good? She's gonna confront him about flirting with others. Like Xavier, like I saw you when you were flirting with Melinda yesterday at my brother's house. I think it's messed up. You know what we've been through. You've already cheated with on me. And the thing is, is like, y'all, if I didn't see if I didn't see, before I read this, if I didn't see them flirting, the next interaction he had was try for a baby. They were actually on their way upstairs and I had to like cancel the interaction because I didn't want that for my girl Kamaya, y'all. So, real messed up. Anyways, I did all my chores. Now I want to do you. So, Xavier knows that Kamaya is trying to talk to him about something really important and he's taking this opportunity to like kind of push her feelings aside and say, hey, I'm trying to get up in that thing, get up in it. What do you, what do y'all think Kamaya was saying? Not that this is live, but the options are, look at you, you smooth talker, come on. Are you sure you have done them all? So basically she's like, are you sure you've done everything? Good one, but maybe later. I think she's gonna say good one, but maybe later. Right now, she's not in the mood for him. Like, she's really not in the mood for him right now. So I want her to confront him. Where is Xavier going? Oh, he going back to sit down. He like, oh Lord, girl, now what you want to talk about? Look at Xander trying to be nosy. All time to play the... Okay, so they fight, but I don't necessarily want Xander to be in here while they fight. So I'm gonna send Xander out here to go shoot some moves shoot around and we're gonna go back here so yeah she confronted him it looks like he's upset about it is he gonna pop okay what did he do did he admit it or something why are they cool all of a sudden he's like all sweet talking her i don't like it out of peace. Xavier is, is in for a tough time as his partner is really, really upset about that love affair. So nothing good happened. I don't know why they chilling, but let's see. I hear you. Okay. Kamaya's about to sit down. Okay, so look, she got a little X over his face. So I think that she would talk to him a little bit more about their relationship. Xavier, I know you're trying to walk away. But I'm going to ask him, did more than flirting happen? Because remember I told y'all, they were on there with a try for a baby. Ah, no, she not trying to do that. She not trying to do that, Xavier. Nope. Look, Xavier is trying everything. Like he's really just like ignoring her. Ignoring her feelings, ignoring the situation. I don't know. And then Kamaya is kind of just like letting it happen. Now, the thing is, Kamaya could be like conflicted. You know what I'm saying? She could be dealing with the, like I said, the death of her mom and all that good stuff. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? It's fine. Don't overreact. Try some. I'm going to tell them it's fine. Don't overreact. So since Kamaya is like taking his advances, I think if Xavier came over here one more time and he tried to, let's first, let's kiss her cheek and we're going to try to like soothe her fears. Um, we're going to be like, I'm so sorry, baby, for flirting with somebody else. You know, you're the only one for me. Even though it was your sister-in-law, I'm so sorry about that. Um, so he, he's going to apologize. Then he's going to be like, I promise not to do it again. I promise not to flirt with no one else again. Girl, you know you're the only one for me. So this is what Xavier is saying to her right now. 
reassure about faithfulness. This is what he's saying to her right now. I think just like in the past, Kamaya is going to see past all, all the crap and she's going to stay with him. I believe it. I believe she's going to stay with him because she feels like, okay, first of all, my mom has left, so I really don't have anybody except for like my brother, but you feel me like I don't have anybody else. Kalia, go take this dog for a walk. He over here barking up a storm. Go give him a hug. This is our pet Zoe, our pet dog Zoe. I think I've introduced you guys to Zoe before. I'm not sure. If I have it, here you go. Here's your former introduction. Go take Zoe on a jog. She's still very sad, but um, Xavier's going to get to work. And yeah, hopefully she feels better. So y'all, they did their thing. And truth is, Kamaya is still really angry about it. Um, she didn't even have a good time. And Xavier is, I don't know, he's very sad about the death of Mavis. Um, but also, I don't think that he's really that. I don't know. Maybe he's, he's maybe he's sad all around because there's so much happening with him. So I'm gonna get the kids out of the house, um, so that you know they can give their parents a little bit of space. There is a lot going on right now, so I just want to get them out the house, and then they can probably start like a little club gathering where they're at, and yeah, just kind of hang out there. Okay, so we're here at the oasis springs community center it's a beautiful build um they come here a lot they've been coming here since they were kids um just to kind of chill out and whenever with they with, with their dad or whatever so i'm gonna have xavier come over here and do what he always does when he comes here he's gonna shoot around because y'all know xavier is gonna is trying to get a um a athletic scholarship so we always got to be working on his athletics i'm gonna see if there is a yoga anywhere for a yoga up here i thought there was i guess i was wrong <sighs> yeah i don't see anywhere for yoga it's all oh, right here look at me so i can go over here and have her practice her yoga try to kind of get herself together i mean it's never easy losing someone like that and then miss kalia i can have you come play oh why don't you come work um maybe experiment and then maybe you can make some summer crafts everyone's kind of sad about it the parents are home working it out i'm gonna have actually I'm gonna have Zanaya while she's starting her routine. I'm gonna have her start a club gathering and have all the other friends come out and just chill and probably try to, um, you know, encourage or make uh, Xavier, I mean, make Xander and Zanaya feel a little better. I gotta get some drink, y'all. So, so it's, it really still is a tough time in the cold household i think that um bryce peck who are you i think that um i guess he's the yoga instructor are you gonna take his class let's join this one it's a brain boosting activity let's join it all right so yeah i think having the friends around will kind of help them um xander is not 100 percent affected you know i'm gonna have um kalia start her club gathering too Make her be surrounded by some of her friends as well. Why not? So, yo. I know it's been a lot of talk about sad stuff and whatever. Um, but I do have a little bit of a story brewing in the background with Mr. Xander. I'm going to have um, Zanaya make some food for the group while um, after she finishes with her yoga so everyone can eat and then i can have um xander make something too because it's a lot of them kalia just started her group maybe he can make some real halibut and they just started their group it's a lot of kids out here right now y'all but yeah mr xander you guys know that he has the um soulmate aspiration so he wants to 
meet a girl and fall in love and or, or boy, you know, but I think he's more interested in the girl, in one girl in particular, y'all. That's what I'm trying to get at. Where's he headed to? Oh, I guess he's headed to go start cooking now. Let me see. She's still doing that. Um, I'm looking for the girl, because the girl is actually in their group, y'all. She's a part of their little social group or whatever. I can't find her though. I saw her, so I know she's here. Anyways, so the thing is, sure, you can like video games. You can like video games too. <laughs> That's Marley. But the thing is, um, this young lady, she's a part of the group, and I think that Xander doesn't want his sister to feel some kind of way because he's trying to date her friend. To Xander, it's more than just like a girl. Like she, he's really trying to like be with this girl like when he thinks about her he thinks about forever guys i don't know if i ever showed you guys this person but this is marley this is anaya's bestie she's cute she actually has the hugest crush on um on xander but xander doesn't feel the same way this however is who xander really likes like he really likes her they've gone on two dates together behind zanaya's back zanaya has absolutely no idea that they've been on dates and the thing is is like i don't even think zanaya would be that upset like i think she would feel some type of way like dang bro like you know what i'm saying that's my home girl you better not do nothing to her but at the same time i don't think she would be like oh you better not talk to my friend i think she'll be cool with it but as always he's overthinking it and afraid to i guess like tell her what's what so he hasn't really told her they haven't really put a title on it they've just been kind of like dating casually getting to know each other i don't even think they've had their first kiss yet so that's how casual it's been um i want her to come get some food too i'm sure she's hungry no don't clean up or oh, you can't eat so where's big sis is she cooking okay she's about to cook after she finished cooking she can come eat so here are all the friends. Let me introduce you guys to the crew. Literally, they're called the crew. So this is our friend, Jamie Alvarez. She has a really interesting story, especially when it comes to like her mom and her sister. We'll visit their household one time and get to know her a little bit more. This is Miss, sorry, this is Miss Michaela Givens. She's a sim that I made, okay. Yes, he can like whatever he wants to like. Did she, um, she was the same that I made not even related to the cold world story and i just moved her to this household because i need the sims so i just moved the sims that i made um did you finish zanaya zanaya why would you put the food right on the plate of empty food okay can you go ahead and call these people to this meal too and make sure little sis gets a plate come get a plate i just bought her grab a serving grab a serving Come on, mama, quick, quick, grab a second. But yeah, um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, Michaela Gibbons, yeah, I made her, whatever, brought her into the safe, so I'm happy she's here. Um, she has a, she has a story too, not, probably not as interesting. I kind of already told you guys about Miss Marley Halcombe. Miss Marley Halcombe. This is Zanaya's bestie. All of them are kind of like besties, but Zanaya and Marley are especially close. Um, and then we have, what's his name again? He's a twin, I know that, but I don't know if this is Damien. Yeah, this is Damien Parks, and he has a brother. The brother's name is Chase Parks, I believe. This is Jace. Y'all remember Jace? That's their cousin. Their cousin, because remember, um, he's, he's part of the Kemp family. Okay, and yeah, this is who I was trying to show y'all, Chase, but... He's missing a body right now. Nothing to see here. Let me see. Yeah, Chase Parks. And then, you know, Kalia has her little group. This is Callie Halcom, which is Marley's younger sister. So everybody's kind of like family. They're all kind of like really close and they're all kind of related. So I'm gonna have um, Zanaya go ahead and catch up with her home girl. Be like, what's up girl? Um, and tell her basically like, what's happening because she hasn't gotten to tell any of her friends 
But if she's gonna tell anybody, she's gonna tell Marley. So we're gonna ask Marley, like, you know, how's your day been? Girl, my day, you won't even believe what my day's been like. So we're gonna get them to come and talk. So she's coming up to her, she's like, what's up, girl? Girl, sit down, let's talk, child. Let me tell you what's been going on. So Zanaya's just gonna tell her about, you know, everything that's been going on. She's like, girl, so I ain't even, oh, you wanna go over here? So we're a little bit more private. I guess they want a little bit of privacy, y'all. So we gonna follow them, y'all, because we wanna see how this conversation goes. So now has a lot to tell Marley. Well, I guess they're gonna go stargaze. Look at them, the besties. She's gonna come out here and talk to her. I think, I hope. I'm gonna take a picture, this is too cute. Marley's like, yeah, I know you have a lot on your mind, girl. Let's just take some time to kind of look at the stars and see what's going on. So she's like, girl, would you believe that my dad, my dad, you remember when he cheated on her at my birthday party? He actually did it again, girl, with my mom's, or my stepmom's mother's sister-in-law. Marley's like, damn, girl, I'm sorry to hear that. That's crazy, your dad be tripping. And then I was like, yeah, girl, so we're supposed to go on this trip tomorrow and I don't even know if we're gonna get to go anymore because they're in such a bad mood. And Marley was like, yeah, girl, so what are y'all gonna do? And then I was like, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm thinking maybe we can go and then like my parents will probably wanna stay home, but I don't want all the money to go to waste, all the planning to go to waste. What do you think about that? Marley's like, I'm down. If you wanna go, I am down. So I think y'all, what we're actually gonna end up doing, what is he doing? Yeah, we're doing? I think what we're gonna actually end up doing, y'all, is we're going to still probably go on the trip, but we're still gonna go on the trip, but I think it's going to be just the teens. It's gonna be like a little teen getaway trip. Let the parents be at home and kind of figure out everything. And, you know, the teens will kind of get away and kind of just like try to get their mind ready for school. They are going back to school in a couple of days. Summer vacation is literally almost over. So yeah, I think that's the plan. I think we're gonna have Zanaya talk to the parents and be like, listen, I know a lot is happening right now. You guys don't have to talk to us about it. Maybe you can use, maybe you, <laughs> maybe you can use some alone time. We'll just get away, we'll get out your hair. We'll go ahead and take care of the trip. And yeah, so I think that's what they're gonna do. Jace and Jamie. So we're about to go home because Kamaya is already hitting the kids up like, curfew's about to start, y'all better get home. So we're gonna go ahead and get home. Y'all, I can't believe what I just saw. I don't even wanna talk about it. Long story short, Jamie and Jace was doing a little something something. And Mr. Xander was in the mix. My game is cursed. Y'all go home. Look at this, y'all. Group activity. Like, what? I'll see y'all at the house. So y'all wouldn't even believe I was talking, playing for at least like 20 minutes and none of it was being caught. I'm not going back. We're just gonna keep on playing from where we at. So it's the next day. You guys know yesterday they went to the community center and they had a really good time with their friends. Um, Zanaya's up just kind of researching uh, researching colleges right now because the twins' birthday is actually in three weeks. Y'all, they start school on Monday. They have three weeks in high school and then it's time to move on to college. So. Right now we're looking up Foxbury Institute and we see that they have biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and villainy. Those are the distinguished degrees. But then for just the regular degrees, they do have culinary arts. That means that Brightchester might be the school that we're looking at the most. 
simply because we know that Zaniah is actually going to be our first heir of the Family Dynamics Challenge. This series will eventually turn into the Family Dynamics Challenge. Right now we're doing the prequel, we're doing the laying work, we're introducing you to the characters and kind of giving you their background story. Um, so yeah, Brychester has the distinguished degrees for culinary arts. So we're going to make sure we go with Brychester. We're trying to get her into Brychester with a distinguished degree. Y'all pray for my girl. I hope we can get her in. But that's the goal. That's the mission. Okay. So Zanaya's finished looking up schools. Um, that's one thing that she really needed to look up. But then we're going to have her start getting ready to go. So we're going to start off by maybe getting some water, let her brush her teeth. What is Xander doing? Okay, Xander is sleeping peacefully. I'm about to get him up though. I'm about to get him up though so he can also take a shower and get ready for the festivities. He can take a little quick bath. Get up, Xander. Kalia is still sleeping and she can stay asleep. I had Xavier get up early this morning and make the kids some breakfast. As I told you guys, the parents are just going to stay home. They're not going to... um on the vacation they're just way too sad i think to even be able to enjoy themselves so xavier wants to make sure he sends them off with some good food in their stomach uh he made them some apricot scones and i think he's making them some french toast and he's gonna send the babies on their way kalia is not going with them unfortunately Kalia's gonna stay at home and kick it with them but we are going to have we are going to have the whole crew, all eight teenagers going on this trip together. Now, based on what happened last night at the community center, I'm starting to have second thoughts like, y'all gonna behave or no? I'm really afraid that they won't behave. But I'm gonna have her go ahead and grab a serving of this. Xavier's up feeling really angry. Ooh, witnessing cheating sucks. So he has something against his dad about cheating and i did mention that when i wasn't recording i thought i was recording and basically what i was saying is i think that zanaya is going to be our next heir she's gonna be our first heir she's gonna be generation one and the reason why i'm doing this is because um the reason why i'm doing this is because Generation one is supposed to live happily ever after with their spouse, but Xavier has been nothing but a cheating mess since the two have gotten married. So I think that Xavier has forfeited his opportunity to be the first heir. And we're going to turn this into a prequel. The twins age up in about three weeks, like I said. So when they age up and they have their birthday, that'll actually be the first official episode of the Family Dynamics Challenge. So we'll make sure that Zanaya gets all the traits she's supposed to have and we'll move on from there. So yeah, guys, that has changed. She's going to be generation one. Xavier has a lot of working to do with his relationship. I don't even think he can think about being <laughs> an heir or a lead. Oh, I already have him eating that. Sorry, I'm going to get him eat it. Everybody's just walking around with their head down. Let me get Xavier to call some people to fix. So can we hire a service? Let's hire a pair, man. And I think everybody's pretty much ready to go. After he eats, he's going to be good to go. After Zanaya eats, she's going to be good to go. So I'm going to actually... Oh. Why is she cussing at her sister, y'all? They don't get along at all. They do not get along at all. So I'm going to have Zanaya come and brush her teeth because her breath stank. And she got yellow teeth and we don't do that. No, not wash hands, but let's brush our teeth. Stop going off on your sister. And then, yeah, we're going to get ready to take this trip to Sulani. We're going to go to the airport. The, kid, the, the friends are supposed to meet us there. Our flight is at 9 o'clock, so we actually need to be hurrying up to get out of the house. She's mortified, but I hope she gets over it. I hate it here. Oh, it's because things are smelly and messy. I thought it was because, but I honestly feel like it's, okay, your dad is peeing and you're washing your teeth. Y'all, this is a hot mess. I'm just gonna meet you guys at Sulani. Okay, y'all, so we're here. Um, it's We just have, we have Xander, we have Jamie. We got Jace, who is our cousin through Kamaya. 
We have Marley, which is Zania's best friend. We have Chase Parks, which is a friend of ours. Zania Cole and Michaela, which is Xander's little thing, right? Little boo thing. But then here's the little Airbnb that our parents had rented for us. It's exactly the same way we left it. I remember when Zania and the kids were small, they were playing on this little thing right here. So it's exactly the same way we left it. Really nice, really big. And they have this place for two days. They're going to be leaving, I think, on Saturday. So let's go ahead and get started. Let, let's let them go in and kind of like look around. It's a beautiful build that I got off the gallery. Don't remember the name of the creator, but it's amazing. Uh, maybe they can all sit around and play. This Zanaya is not feeling well, but I think that she would still try to play some games. Let me see. Now, y'all remember that I told y'all Xander has like a little thing with Michaela going, right? They've been going on little dates, low key or whatever. But then just yesterday at the community center, here's Xander messing with, oh, having a good old time with Miss Jamie over here. So that kind of, I don't know, that kind of deters me. I don't know what to think about that. I don't know. I don't even really want them talking. Let me have him out, come out here and maybe let's ride some jet skis. Do we have some? I thought I placed some. Maybe not. I thought I placed some jet skis. Maybe we can go to the beach instead then. Maybe we don't got to stay in the house. Maybe we can go to the beach. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think we should go to the beach. Have a good time. Jace, get away from Jamie. The last time y'all were together, y'all were doing something very bad. Looks like they get along well, though. While wow, this one is still going through whatever he going through. Look at him, he's so sad. What are you going to do? You're going to go chat with Jace? I think that's a good idea. Oh, he's singing. They're both singing. Okay, so they're just chatting. They're just catching up. They're probably talking about all the island girls that they will see here in Sulani. Uh, Marley looks really sad. I don't know. Go ahead and play, Marley. Oh, no. She is playing. I forgot I'm not controlling these other sims, y'all. I'll be forgetting sometimes. Oh, Chase, you lost. Now, y'all, I'm just looking at Chase. What do y'all think about him as a potential for Zanaya. Y'all know that the rules for the Family Dynamics Challenge say that she gets, you know, the first generation gets married young. Her friends and everybody else are not married yet. They get married really young. And they stay together forever. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Chase is the one? I know we don't know a lot about him. Let's try to get to learn him a little bit more maybe. Let's see. Invite to Halloween party. We don't have one. Let's rave about growing up. Like, yeah, we out here by ourselves. Look at us. We seniors this year. What is y'all plan for this year? Like, we're just going to be talking. Really small talk. Let's ask him. Like, Chase, you're so quiet. You never really speak. Let's ask him about his quietness. And I actually want Xander to come and holler at his girl. Let's sing about Summer Break. Look at Michaela, y'all. She's so cute. She has no idea what's happened with Jamie and, and Xander. So I think that, that when that comes out, it's gonna be a huge deal because Michaela, even though like they're both keeping it a secret from Zanaya, they both don't wanna tell Zanaya about what's going on. I think that Michaela would be super hurt by, you know, what Xander did with Jamie. And then, you know, even Jamie just being that kind of person that would do that, I think that would throw them both off. So I think I'm going to have them head to the beach, kind of play in the sun a little bit. Let me have Zanaya head this thing. So we're going to travel. Um, I want to bring Marley. Chase, Jace, Xander, Grayson. We invited Grayson, but Grayson was like, no, thank you. 
So we're gonna bring Jamie and Michaela, yeah. and we're gonna head out to the beach just to chill. And I think that's probably where I'm gonna wrap up this episode. The next part will definitely be going into day two of their vacation. Um, I'm thinking for day two we can go to the spa and maybe even send the boys somewhere. Or maybe they can go to the spa too. Like men like to relax, they like to be pampered, get them a nice little clear coat. You know what I'm saying? Why not? So I'm excited about their day two. We also have to figure out how we're gonna work on these parents, y'all. Are they gonna stay together? Is Kamaya tired of it or is she still, you know, is she still cool? Or is she still gonna work it out with him after therapy? I think time, only time will tell. I think that we should, when we get back home, work with the couple, see how they feel about each other. If Kamaya is able to see past it, then I think that's what we'll go for. If not, Oh well, I'll see y'all at the beach. Okay, so we're here at the beach. Let's, oh, okay, first things first, Zanaya has to use the restroom. Go ahead and use the bathroom, Zanaya, and also let's change your outfit. Okay, I see you. Let's also change your outfit into something a little bit more tropical. She bought a lot of different bathing suits for this trip. So I know she's ready to kind of put on something cute. Go ahead and wear that. Um, Xander, you gonna go do homework? No, you're not. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna meet some people. So I'm gonna have Xander change his clothes too. Change outfit. Let's put on your swimming clothes. Cause we're going in the water, Xander. Let's go. All right, look, who's already in the water? Who is this? Damien, oh Damien, you came in, okay. Damien wasn't even on vacation with us, but he said, oh, y'all finna go to the beach, I'm there. So Damien here with us, okay. He in the water already. Let me see if I can have him go ahead and relax on this, kind of take his mind off of things. Kamaya, you can cook, I guess. Somebody started cooking some hot dogs, some sausage and peppers. So I guess she could finish cooking the sausage and peppers. Okay, you can like video gaming, up to you. So she gonna put on her little bathing suit, or is she? A little cute bathing suit, and then she's gonna go ahead and cook some sausage and peppers for the group. Look who's coming to check up on her, y'all. Chase is coming over, but why is Chase so sad? What happened to Chase? Oh, y'all, I hope his grandma didn't pass. He had an older grandmother, too. And I'm wondering if maybe she passed away. That's why he's so sad. Um, I don't know. Let's just... Let's ask him about his day. And she's going to grab a serving. So... This really Would fits because Zanaya is always cooking for her friends. And I think it's a way of like, I think it's going to be a good way to tie in that like, you know, she's always been cooking. She's it's something that she's always loved to do. She cooks for her friends all the time. Okay, grandma's still alive. Here she go, Faith Parks. So it's nice, grandma. I don't know what's got him so sad. But we're going to come and talk to him because I kind of, I don't know, when I made chase i did think that like he would be the one for zanaya but then like i kind of want it to be natural and i don't know if there's any real attraction there so i'm gonna go ahead and have her come and tell like a funny story let's check out the profile and see what she really thinks about him <laughs> oh by the way chase is also um xander's best friend go figure they're best friends um she doesn't know Okay, she perceives him as attractive and they have lots of good sentiments together. Oh, so I don't know, y'all. They're very cute. I'm going to fix his voice. I don't know why it's so high. It's a very high voice. I'm not sure what's going on with that. We're going to um debate strategy. What is he doing? Out here sleeping. You tired, boo? I guess this is vacation. Like when you out, just chilling. Go ahead and use the bathroom. Look at my girl Marley that he be acting like he don't want to get with. Marley is everything though. I was so surprised because she really likes she really likes um Xander. And I was so surprised when he didn't like her back. I was kind of like, what? I thought that was a shoo-in. Let me see if she has a nice swimsuit she can put on. 
Like, look at my girl. Listen, your loss, your loss. Um, what's your name? Xander. Cause my girl is hot. And Jamie. I'm not, listen, I don't feel like Jamie really did anything wrong because technically none of them are like in a relationship, but at the same time, like Jamie, you know we just be trying to chill. For you to go and sleep with somebody like that is kind of like, I don't know, I feel some type of way. And it's not a good way. She got this ugly bathing suit, but that's what she got, y'all. I have no control over that. Everybody doing homework. These two over here still talking, and let's change Michaela's outfit too. Michaela and Jace are still out here. Michaela over here playing the phone. She don't even want to be next to no one. So let's go ahead and change her outfit as well. You gotta keep waiting until Michaela. Okay, it's cute. It's cute. Okay, so after he uses the restroom, I want him to come out here and kind of talk to her. Or oh, you can stop relaxing. He dozed off from relaxing, but he can stop relaxing. And I want to come, oh, what does it say? From feeling flirty. Told you, Michaela's his girl. Anthony, no thank you. Anthony wants me to come over to his house, but I'm nowhere near home right now. Sorry, Anthony. Is she playing our phone? Yeah, she playing our phone. Let me have him come over here since he's all flirty and come talk to his girl. Now, Jamie, you might want to move away from this. I'm going to show off our selfie. I don't know. What's happening? Okay, y'all wear. I don't think, have they had their first kiss already? I'm not sure. As enthused about fitness though with her when he comes back. Oh, Jace, I didn't change your clothes. I'm sorry, I'm changing now. What do you have to wear for beach wear? Okay, you can put that on, that's cool. And then last but not least, let me change Chase's outfit. I do need to give some of them a little update. Some of them only have like their first outfit, obviously. <laughs> Let me go ahead and check. Girl, did you just put your tablet on the floor? Yeah, but take them. We need that tablet. You think your parents just have money growing on trees? Okay, MC dresser change outfit. Do you have a cute little... Okay, you can wear that. And she gonna pick it up. That's ours, Jamie. Can we have that back? Jamie, can we have that back? That's not yours. Everybody just sent us to, okay. They're really cute together, y'all. What do y'all think? Look at that. They enjoy each other's company. I mean, honestly, like, I just I get to know her a little bit. I speak Simlish fluently. Okay. So, y'all speak the same language. This is his brother. This is Chase's brother, Damien. I don't know if, I don't remember if they're twins because they look just alike. Talk over Damien. No, we're not going to talk, but we're going to ask about. Let's see, other sims. We're gonna ask about another sim. We're gonna be like, so, like, your brother, Chase, what do you think? Do you think he'll be good for me? Or We're not gonna make a move yet, but I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you think in the comment. I'm not gonna do anything, because if you guys say yes, we can send them on a really romantic date um, tomorrow. I like Chase, he's pretty cool. Yeah, he's your brother. So of course you think he's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna wrap yeah, I'm getting ready to wrap this up because I don't want it to go too far. This episode has already been super long. But today, y'all, we got to, you know, unfortunately, we started the episode off with Mavis passing away, which has put a damper on a lot of the kids' moods. Um, but then we also got to let's have her play with Chase. We also um, got to, you know, go on this little family vacation still. It turned into a teen family vacation instead of a summer family vacation but it's still something to kind of let them let loose right before they're about to go into their senior year they're all seniors so i'm really excited to see like you know how things turn out for them and like what decisions they make and what grades they get 
Anyways, if you guys were excited about this episode and you liked this episode, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of the family. We want you here. You're already here every video anyways. Um, again, I wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who's commented. To my new subscribers, hello. Thank you for being a part of the Simzimla family. And I will see y'all. The next thing y'all see will be simple things. I'm probably going to record it today. So um, until we come back to Cole's world or until I release simple things, um, y'all take it easy out there. Peace.